Good evening. This is The Late Report. Well, an FBI inventory of Unabomber suspect Ted Kaczynski's Montana cabin includes explosives, guns, addresses of corporate executives, the typewriter the Unabomber's manifesto was written on, and the original Unabomber manifesto. Not found among the items, hair conditioner. <laughs> While the Sonics get ready to wrap up their regular season tomorrow, other coaches in the league are questioning the legitimacy of Steve Scheffler being put on injured reserve when he doesn't really appear to be injured. <laughs> Scheffler admits he's okay physically, but because he hasn't got to play much, his feelings have been hurt. <laughs> Researchers at the Veterans Administration Medical Center in Seattle are the first to discover genes which seem to affect human aging. They're calling the genes Dockers. <laughs> Microsoft stock increased in value again this week, bringing founder Bill Gates' net worth to over $15 billion. Now, to give you some idea of how much $15 billion really is, if there was such a thing as a $15 billion bill, Bill Gates would have one. <laughs> well, there was good news this week. Apparently, the number of students taking guns and knives to Seattle schools has dropped sharply this year. The bad news is that the number of hand grenades and machetes is up. <laughs> Seattle police tracked down a 15-year fugitive by finding the place and time of his daughter's wedding through the Nordstrom Bridal Registry. They got the idea from, a bo from the Bothell police who tracked down a suspect using the Bridal Registry at Target. <laughs> well, beer and wine distributors to the San Juan Islands say they want to raise prices to island retailers. They say they need to raise the prices to offset the cost of travel time, ferry fares, and liquor consumed by the crew during the trip. <laughs> Although three well-known Hanford whistleblowers who disclose safety problems have lost their jobs, Hanford officials deny that they were fired. In a prepared statement, the officials said, it's like we finally woke up and realized that we were paying people good money just to sit around all day and blow whistles. <laughs> this this week, during a debate on the anti-terrorism bill, Senator Slade Gorton quoted from the Rolling Stones song, You Can't Always Get What You Want. <laughs> Here with a comment is Pat Cashman. Thank you, John. Mm -hmm. You know... Thank you. It's like they were sitting out around all day paying people to blow whistles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I was planning to comment on Senator Gordon's remarks, but I got to tell you, I did not have a good night's sleep, John. Well, why is that, Pat? I got to have a change of scene, because every night I have the strangest dream. There's a lady who's sure that all that glitters is gold, and there she was, just a walking down the street singing, I shot the sheriff, but I swear it was in self-defense. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I've cleaned a lot of plates in Memphis, and I pumped a lot of pain down in New Orleans, and I'm picking up good vibrations, because when the weather's fine, you got women. You got women yeah, on your mind. Yeah. And that's why I'm hot-blooded. Oh. Shake it and see, John. Mm. And so I figure I'm going to walk like a man fast as I can, because she is a long, cool woman in a black dress, or at least I'm going to paint it black, because she makes me feel real loose like a long neck goose. So we start skipping this light fandango, you know, kind of turning some cartwheels. And all of a sudden, she says, hey, hey, you, you, get off of my cloud. And so I said, come on, come on, come on, come on now. Touch me, babe. If you think I'm sexy, come on, baby, tell me so. And she says, but first, are you experienced? Ah, have you ever been experienced? And I say, a wop bop a loo bop a loo bam boom And she says, hey, babe, let's take a walk on the wild side. And I say, uh-uh, honey, lay off of those shoes. And then she says, I am the god of hellfire, and I'm a bitch, I'm a bitch. Oh, the bitch is back. And then she handed me $20 for a 250 fare, and she said, Pat, keep the change. And I don't care too much for money. And so I said, excuse me while I kiss the sky. And then I woke up. Thank you very much for that, uh, yeah. that concise yeah. analysis, anyway, getting, uh, back Pat, to, getting back to Senator Gordon, Oh, John, yes, Senator Gordon. They say that Cat Slade is a bad oh, mother. Oh, shut your mouth. I'm just talking about Slade. I know, I know. He's a complicated man, John, and nobody understands him but his woman. Oh, Pat, please. <laughs> you know, every breath you take and every move you make, I'll be watching oh, you. Oh, would you put a sock in it? Somebody left the cake out in the Shut room. up! Okay. Finally, 
Two Seattle wholesalers have been fined by the Federal Trade Commission for selling fake Native American carvings to retail stores. Now, the most telling evidence was a totem pole that included the face of Cairo TV sports anchor Tony Ventrella. <laughs> this has been the Light Report. Thank you. And we'll be right back.